Okay, and then I'm just going to copy and paste some more stuff. I'm going to copy and paste this block of code right here. You know what, what we're going to do? Just all right, just copy and paste this first. Just going to get the selected file for the browse. Let's copy this. And we're going to copy it inside our add button file. And now we need to, let's actually put this declaration up top. Let's copy and then remove the integer here. Private int result code. And we also need to create a file to contain the file that the JFile chooser will, will return. We're going to call this file file. We'll actually call it the uh, hmm. yeah. Let's just call it the uh, vim file. Import the file, java.io. Change this to vim file and Control Shift F. Go. So it goes that vim file equals. And make sure you don't forget the uh, curly braces. Vim file. Actually, you don't need the curly brace, do we? Yeah. Okay. If result code. Now, what we're gonna do. So this is gonna store the, the, the file that the user selects from the J file chooser. Wait a minute. Sorry about that. Just cut it. Cut this part right here. And it's going to be in our browse button. What am I doing? Jeez. Right. Actually performed. Browse. And you know what? You know what we're going to do? Um, instead of putting everything inside our action performed, we're actually going to make a method for this just like what we did in our uh, main system.java so what we're going to do is um, we're going to open the, uh, the chooser and set the vim file and I know this is kind of a long method name but you're going to appreciate this later on. It just explains everything for you. you know, it's very verbose, descriptive. So have it created for us. And just leave the state changed. It's going to go all the way down. We're never going to touch it again. And then paste it here. Open chooser and set the vim file. Now what we're also going to do now, if, if, it, if the result code is not, not that, they press cancel or something, we're going to do something else. But now that we have this file, what we're going to do... So right now, the user is not going to see anything different. When they click this right here, the user is not going to see anything different. So we actually, once we have the file, we need to put the file name in here. And you know what? I actually want this to be optional, the, the default text. I want it to be optional in the beginning. So what we're going to do to do that is just, and I, I, know I, I know I said that we're never going to go back to our panels ever again. Well, I lied. So go back, go to your addbookpanel.java. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a lot of uh, a lot of methods. See, we have all these text fields. These text fields over here. 
what we're going to do is we want to have we want to have access to what what their texts are so what we're going to do is we want to we want to get the uh the j text field object so we're just going to do the same thing as we did for the buttons except this time we're going to get the uh the text field so public return type is j text field get and again just copy the text field names um, put them in a comment over here get ISBN sorry get text field ISBN return cut this it's here and we're gonna do the exact same thing for the rest of them we have four more buttons so copy and paste four more times one two three four title If you guys are creating a lot of GUI, you're, you know, this is a good method to learn. I mean, you know, copying and putting it in a comment and then just doing this. I think it's pretty nice. It makes programming a lot faster. Instead of going back and forth saying, oh, what was that name again? Right, now that we have access to our text fields, let's actually go back to our library system. Open chooser and set the vim file, it's over here. Now that we have the vim file, we want to set the text. Actually, I'm sorry about that. Really sorry, go back to add book panel. We just want to set the default text of our, uh, of our text field of files optional so we're gonna just gonna do that here say JT file dot set text to optional now if we run it it should initially have the optional uh, word in there just to say, you know, it's optional, you don't have to add a new file. But but the rest are mandatory. Let's go back to library system. Now we're gonna set the text. So we have our access to the uh we call it add book panel dot get text field file. And then we're gonna set the text to the Vim file name. Remember, the, the, a, a file, well, it's not actually a Vim object. The file is not actually a Vim object. It's, it's just a Vim. This thing is just a file. And the way you get the name of the file is just dot get name. And remember, in our Vim object, we stored the name of the, uh, of the file. So it should be, it sh this should work. Vim file, get text field file, and then we just set it. And now if you actually run the application, when you click the browse button over here, one second guys. Oh, and uh, when we're creating the, uh, the J file chooser, no, no, that's right, that's right.